that according to our friend here, this is his belief, Allah has, well, he wouldn't use the term body parts, I don't want to misrepresent him. Allah has a foot, he has a shin, he even has loins, and he has at least two eyes, if not more, and two right hands. Now, for the life of me, if Allah is the creator of the heavens and the earth, how does he exist as an embodied being without him dwelling in space? Because if he's atemporal and he's timeless, that means his God supposedly exists when there was no time, space, and place. But if you have a foot and you have a shin and you have two right hands, I don't know what happened to the left one, but we'll get into that. Two right hands, at least two eyes. In fact, the Arabic says three or more, but we'll get into that. Then that means his God is an embodied, embodied being who is temporal and finite, which means that his God did not create all space or place and time because there's a space that his body parts need to occupy in order for him to be his God. So the problem is actually worse for Daniel than for us. So he's going to have to explain how is it that he's a polytheist, pagan, masquerading as a monotheist. Because what he just told you is not anchored in the Quran or the authentic <clears throat> Sunnah of Muhammad. So good luck in trying to defend your rational Salafi anthropomorphism. Marabuk. Allah. Madinuk. Islam. Man Nabiyuk. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ma kitabuk. Al Quran. Ayn Allah. Sama. الله لماذا خلقنا الله؟ نعبده وحده لا شريك له كم عدد أركان الإسلام؟ خمسة ما هي؟ شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله إقام الصلاة وإيتاء الزكاة وحج البيت ما استطاع عليه سبيلا وصوم رمضان هل لله أسماء وصفات؟ نعم هل أسماء الله وصفاته تشبه أسماءنا وصفاتنا؟ لا ما الدليل على ذلك؟ ليس كمثله شيء وهو السميع البصير that he wants to know Not one thing which has been ordered in mind. What is the definition of Allah and Islam? And the definition also includes many things which is negation. And it contradicts the definition of the other faiths. In fact, in Islam, the definition of Allah says what Allah is and also says what Allah is not. Besides knowing what God is, it is also important to know what God is not. So that if someone falsely claims that so-and-so is God, you can easily come to know this is a false claim. As far as the reply to what is the refuge of Allah, the best reply that any Muslim can give you is from the Quran, from Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Kul Allah ahad. Say, He is Allah one and only. Allah samad. Allah, the absolute and eternal. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begets not, nor is he begotten. Walam yakul lahu kuffanad. There is nothing like him. This is a four-line definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, given in the glorious Quran. This is the touchstone of theology. Mm. It is the litmus test to identify any person says so-and-so candidate is God. If that candidate fits in this four-line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate to be God. The first is, Qul hu Allah ahad. Say it's Allah one and only. Allah samad. Allah, the absolute and eternal. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begets not noise begotten. Walam yakul lahu kufanad. There is nothing like him. For example, I'll give you an example. There are some human beings who say that Bhagawan Rajneesh is God. During question answer time, there was a Hindu brother who told me that if Hindus don't consider him to be God. I never said that the Hindus call Bhagawan Rajneesh to be God. There are many human beings who claim Bhagawan Rajneesh is God. Now I will give you a sample. Why do we use this negative also? Like say is Allah one and only is positive. Allah samad, Allah the absolute eternal. Lam yalad wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten. Why do we use this? Now we'll put this Bhagawan Rajneesh to test. The first test is, Qul Allah was. Say it's Allah one only. Was Bhagawan Rajneesh one and only? Was he the only man who has claimed divinity? There are hundreds who have claimed divinity. And in this country of ours, India, there are thousands of men who have claimed divinity. Thousands of people have said that they are God. He's not the only one. But Rajneesh Bhakt will say, no, Bhagawan Rajneesh is unique. So let's go to the next test. Allah Samad. Allah, the absolute and eternal. Was Rajneesh absolute and eternal? When we read his autobiography, we read there that Bhagwan Rajnish, he was suffering from asthma, from diabetes mellitus, from chronic backache. Imagine Almighty God suffering from asthma, from diabetes mellitus, from chronic backache. The third test, Lam Yulid Valam 
He begets not now is begotten. We know Bhagavad Nish Nish. He was hmm. born in Madhya Pradesh. And he had a mother and father. And in 1981, he goes to America and takes thousands of Americans for a ride. And in the state of Oregon, he starts his new center known as Rajnishpuram. Later on, the American government arrests him and puts him behind bars. Rajnish alleges that the American government gave me slow poisoning. Imagine Almighty God being slow poisoned. And 1985, the American government kicks him out of the country. He comes back to India and goes back to the city of Pune. And there, he goes and restarts his center, which is today called as Osho Commune. And if you visit Osho Commune today, if you go to Samadhi, where his ashes have been kept after he died, it is mentioned over there on a Samadhi, on a stone, Osho, Bhagavan Rajnish, Osho, never born, never died, but visited the earth from the 11th of December, 1931, to the 19th of January, 1990. Never born, never Ooh. died, but visited the earth from the 11th of December, 1931, to the 19th of January, 1990. They forgot to mention on his Samadhi that he was not given visas to 21 different countries of the world. Imagine Almighty God coming on this earth to visit different countries and requires visas. And the last test, Walam Kufanad, is so stringent that the moment you can compare God to anything in this world, He is not God. Walam Kufanad. We know Bhagavan Rajnish. He had a white beard. Like the human being, they had two eyes, one nose, one mouth, yeah. two hands. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, He is not God. Walam Kufanad. For example, someone says that the Almighty God is thousand times stronger than Arnold Schwarzenegger. You may have heard the name of Arnold Schwarzenegger, the person who got the title Mr. World, strongest man in the world, Mr. Universe, the strongest man in the universe. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, whether it be Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dara Singh or King Kong, whether it be a thousand times or a million times, the moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he is not oh. God. So this brother is, in short, the concept yeah. of Almighty God. So, brother and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you like the video of Dr. Zatan Naik. With us, Dr. Zatan Naik always gave answers according to Quran and Hadith and I hope you have watched this video till end. So, in the first part of today's video, we have watched a video of a Christian man. You can see in the video, it was a live session in which a Christian man says that Nauz Billah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have hands and feet and many other things he said about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is not mentioned anywhere. So guys Allah stands for Arabic word for God used by Arab Christian as well as by Muslim. According to Quran Allah is the creator and judge of humankind and merciful. The Muslim profession of faith affirms that there is no deity but God and emphasize that he is inherently one nothing is like unto him everything that happened occurs by the commandments submissions to God is the basis of Islam. The Quran and Hadith contain that 99 most beautiful name of God including the one and only the living one the real truth the harrier, the seal, the benefactor, and the constant forgiver. So guys, what do you think what that Christian man says is true or not? And after that, what Dr. Zatan Knight says yes. is according to Quran and Hadith or not? Please let us know by giving your comments below. And if you are satisfied with the video of Dr. Zatan Knight, then it's our request to you guys, please. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever a new video will be published you will get its notification first. See you guys in next video. Till then Allah Hafiz.